Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to make a good video with just your phone. If you're new here, hi, my name's Tammy. I also go by Uncomfy because your girl's a little anxious, but over the past couple years, I've been running my small business and it is my main source of income. I don't pay for a single ad. I just post on social media and during the first quarter of the year, I made this much. Currently, I have over 100,000 followers on Instagram, nearly 100,000 followers on TikTok, and of course, over 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. So a huge reason why I have such a successful business is because I post videos. And I'm super passionate about it because it's one of the greatest ways to make money while doing what you love. And I know making videos isn't for everybody, but if you're watching this video, chances are you want to get into it. So today I'm going to show you how I film and edit my TikToks and Reels. This is going to be a super beginner friendly video. So if you're trying to watch for all my super advanced camera equipment and YouTube and stuff like that, that will be in the next video but this video we're just gonna cover basic equipment basic editing on your phone my biggest tips and tricks on how to connect with an audience and build confidence so grab your tea a notebook maybe and let's get started First off is equipment. I'm a firm believer that less is more and I'll tell you why. Personally for me, I love researching different cameras and lighting and tripods and all of that. But I think as a beginner, I would have been very intimidated and scared and discouraged by how expensive camera equipment is. If you wanna make content to promote your small business, your smartphone is the best tool that you have. So here's a quick rundown of all the equipment that I would recommend for a beginner small business content creator. First thing you'll need to film and edit your videos is your phone. Here I have the iPhone 13 Pro Max and the last thing you'll need is a tripod for your phone. Here are my two favorite tripods. I got them both from Amazon so I'll link them down below in my storefront but I would highly recommend getting a phone tripod just because look how small they are. So portable and lightweight. This one is your classic like um, bendy leg tripod so it's pretty useful for getting different angles. Attach your phone like this. You slip it in like there. If you have a bulky case like me, I just pop my case off and you pop it in. Now she's secure and you can adjust it from horizontal to vertical, which is what you'll be using for short form content. Super all reliable, but she is very short. So that's why I have this tripod, which I got more recently. Um, I got it because my fam uses it. So if you watch Mai's videos, then she uses this. You push this button right here. The legs pop out and then the tripod extends really far. So this tripod is really handy for standing shots and I use this in my vlogs all the time. So you have your phone and your tripod and you wanna start filming. The last most important thing in my opinion is lighting. I got a couple questions on Instagram asking how do you get the best lighting? For all of my videos, I use the natural lighting that is available to me. Right now I have these beautiful windows and I know exactly when the sun is gonna hit just right. So my best tip for natural lighting is to know your environment. What cardinal direction do your windows face? If your windows are facing east, it's best to film in the morning because that's when the sun rises. It's going to hit you just right. It's going to be beautiful. And if your windows are facing the west, you're going to want to film towards the end of the afternoon slash sunset because that is when golden hour is and your windows are going to have that beautiful, beautiful light. When I was at my parents' house, my studio was facing north, so I never got any direct sunlight. So what I would do if I wanted to take some really nice product videos is I would take all my products in a little tray and carry them downstairs. I would basically follow the sun. But if I'm going to be honest, I didn't have energy to do that every day. So when I was in my north facing room, I would just use the magic of editing. Editing, yes, some people love it, some people hate it. I love editing and I think if you're gonna have a small business on social media, you need to get really comfortable with editing. You need to be comfortable with hearing yourself talk for hours and hours and hours on end. My editing software of choice is CapCut because I can edit straight on my phone. It's available for both Apple and Android users. I know editing may seem hard or intimidating, but really it's as simple as taking a video, cutting it up into the most interesting or beautiful 
beautiful parts and posting it. I think one mistake that a lot of artists or small business owners make is that they separate the filming and editing from the art making. A lot of people revel in the art making but when it comes to editing all of a sudden they hate it. But really editing is just giving your art a second chance at life. It's giving it a whole new meaning, a whole new lifetime of people being able to view and enjoy your art. I view video making as a documentation of my art process. It's beautiful but it's also messy and ugly and time consuming. So when it comes to filmmaking and editing, I want you to come in with the mindset that you're breathing a second life into this project. I hope I said that well. I didn't script that at all, it just came to me. <laughs> On to editing software. I use CapCut because you can edit straight on your phone and it's so much easier than having to import footage onto a computer and editing it that way. I love editing on my phone because I think the faster you can film a video and edit it straight away, then the more motivated you are and the more likely you are to actually post the content. All right, so I'm sitting here at my desk now, ready to edit my video on CapCut. Like I said earlier, I prefer to edit on my phone, but CapCut does have a desktop version, so you can edit on your computer if you prefer that. So I'm gonna screen record everything so you can see what I'm doing. But how I like to film is I film on my camera, just my standard phone camera, and then I go into my photo album, and I will select all the videos that I just shot and put it into a new album right away so that when I go back to edit it, I can easily find that album and import it into CapCut. So if you didn't know, CapCut is a super powerful yet super easy to use all-in-one editing app. Here on the homepage, you can see all of the different tools they have. They have the ad maker, which comes with all these little templates to use. For my business, I don't really use templates because I like to make longer storytelling videos, if that makes sense. Like I'll make process videos and a voiceover on top of that. I find that that method of advertising is a lot more engaging when an audience can see your process and really connect with the story behind your small business. So I just go straight into new project and I go into my albums I just made and, and today we're gonna make a capybara sculpting video and I'm gonna import all the videos in the order that I foresee the video panning out. You can always change the order whenever in the timeline. I end up doing that a lot. And here is what my timeline looks like. If you use your two fingers to pinch and squeeze, you can shrink the timeline and then you can also extend it. I typically extend it whenever I really wanna get into a certain moment and cut at a specific moment. So for this video, I really wanted to get like an intro of like my outfit just to show like today's just gonna be a sculpting day. This is what I usually wear. And you can basically shorten a video just by dragging it or what I do a lot is I'll touch it and then I'll split it. And then I'll just delete the chunk that I don't want. This chunk is me walking back from the camera. I don't want that. So I'm gonna shrink that and then I'm gonna delete. So what I'm doing right now is called a rough cut. A rough cut is your video at its bare minimum. It's just a video without any filters, without any text, it's just the bare video. So I'm gonna work on my rough cut right now and I'll be right back. Right now it's 12.30 and I'm aiming to get this video done within 10 to 15 minutes. During this rough cut, you'll notice that I'm making a lot of cuts because you wanna make sure that each clip is no longer than two seconds. It can be from the same video, but you wanna make sure it's cut into tiny increments. This is called a jump cut and this makes the video much more interesting to look at. The more cuts and the more movement, the better. So that is why filming in different angles is so important because the more footage that you film, the more you have to work with when you edit and that way your videos become much more interesting and the more likely a viewer will watch the whole video. Okay, I finally finished the rough cut. That took about 16 minutes, so I'm pretty happy with that. From this point on, you can add text, music, sound effects, but my personal favorite is a voiceover. Adding a voice to your videos is vital to getting an audience to connect with you. I know it's scary, especially if you're not used to hearing your voice over and over again, but honestly, you'll get used to it. When I first started, I never did any voiceovers. It was just like aesthetic videos. I noticed a skyrocket in engagement and followers and therefore sales when I started doing voiceovers. A good tip for doing voiceovers is to go inside your closet because your clothes will provide good insulation and therefore no echoes. Or honestly, on TikTok and Instagram, quality doesn't matter as much as it does on YouTube. You can have 
pretty shitty audio but people will still be willing to listen because it feels authentic if you have a pair of wired earbuds you can just go ahead and connect them to your phone if you really want better quality but honestly i typically just talk directly into the phone and if you're stuck on what to say during your video CapCut has an amazing ai script generator and i'm going to show you how to use it so here is my rough cut i have a vague idea of what i want to say but i don't have enough words planned for 50 whole seconds of a video so i'm going to go back to the home page of CapCut and use their ad script. So as you can see, I already used it for one of my enamel pin videos, but this is super good for small businesses because it's made to advertise a product. I use AI all the time to help me write emails and just correct my grammar, but now with CapCut, I can use AI to get me started on writing a script. Basically, it'll give you a really good script to start on. At the end of the day, the video will still be genuine and yours so long as you edit it and make it your own, but the script generator will just save you so much time like i used to spend upwards of an hour just making a tiktok because i kept recording my voiceover over and over again until it was perfect and now we have the script so i'm gonna put in clay figurine and it has some suggestions here so handcrafted i'm gonna say made to comfort so i said Handcrafted, made to comfort, cute capybara holding coffee can go on your monitor or dashboard. And we'll see where that takes us. Okay, so this script is actually really good. Obviously, it's not something that I would say, but it's getting my creative juices flowing. So I'm gonna edit this just a little bit and I think we have a good script. So it starts off with the text-to-speech effects, which you can certainly do if you're not comfortable doing your own voiceover. It's kind of funny and people do listen to the like robot voiceovers, but I'm gonna go ahead and record over that because I like talking in my own videos. I feel like it makes my audience connect with me more. And even in a video where I don't show my face, at the very least, I'll have my voice with it. Recently, I found out about serotonin decor and I was surprised that I never heard about it before because that's exactly what I make for a living. When it comes to adding captions and words, I like to keep the font very simple. I use the system font in CapCut or the system font in TikTok because you don't want your words to be more distracting than the video itself. All the attention should be on your product or your process and the words are honestly only there for clarity and ADA purposes. Okay, so I think I have a good video now. I added voiceover, captions, and music. And now the last thing is color grading. As you can see, the video has pretty good lighting, I would say. I filmed this during the day when the sun was going through my windows really nicely, so I don't need to do much. But even with good lighting, I'll always do a little bit of color correction. Color correction is doing little tweaks like increasing brightness, decreasing shadows, saturation, stuff like that. One thing I always like to do is decrease the highlights. Um, I'll actually increase the shadows so that there's less shadows throughout the sculpting portions. Have the filter extend throughout the whole video. And sometimes for this, I want this to be more warm because this I filmed during the afternoon so there wasn't any sunlight. So I'm gonna zoom in and split the adjustment layer right at this frame. So now I can make just this section a lot more warm and it won't impact the rest of the video. And now I can export the video and post it on both TikTok and Instagram. Recently, I found out about serotonin decor, which is where you decorate your room or your house or your car just with like silly little things that makes you happy. And I was surprised that I never heard about it before because that's exactly what I make for a living. My name's Tammy. I'm a Palmer clay artist and I also go by Uncomfy because I'm a little anxious, but I make cozy art and cozy content to help comfort others. So for example, I made this coffee bara, a capybara holding a cup of coffee to help uncomfy people like me get through their work days. It's small so you can place it on your monitor or your dashboard and its serene expression is made to bring comfort and serenity to your workspace just like a warm cup of coffee. Here's what they look like when they're all glazed and they're available in my shop right now. I'm at the gym right now but in just a couple hours that reel already got like 1500 likes so I'm pretty happy with that. That's very successful to me. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if you have any more questions, let me know down in the comments. My best wishes for content creating, and good luck! Everyone say hi to Winnie. Fragile space.
a single sail White rocky island You and I on the trail 